You said this apartment was owned by Logan Paul, right? It was. We still get some of his mail here. Oh my god. This year I already had my 40k day, which is really yeah. I, I I got really emotional. I almost I almost cried. And I hate to take profit, how much would you expect to make off this weekly total? Four four to five thousand dollars. There it is, the Centurion. I'm about to go check it out. Check this out, they even have their own custom elevator that uh, it'll take me upstairs to the Centurion Lounge. Pretty cool. Down here, it's the Vine Street. Meeting up with Mauricio, my buddy, six figure fork shredder. Gonna have some fun. Hey, man, she's waking up to these views. Hey. Whoa! Damn, he wasn't kidding. Damn, look at this place. woke up we went to catch la last night chilling gonna do some more work and we have nfp on friday so yeah we're gonna see how that Don't goes that. <laughs> a lot of bait coming oh my goodness look at this view dude he's really balling out just a year ago he was your average 21 year old now he's like living on vine street this is insane and those apartments over there get this you can get an apartment right there for only $2,000 a month. This apartment costs more than double that per month. That's insane. Hey, so now I know if I ever want to move to LA, I can live right down the road, right next to Mauricio. All right, here's the man, Ozzy. Last one. <laughs> you said this apartment was owned by Logan Paul, right? It was. We still get some of his mail here. Oh my God. <laughs> Just imagine getting mail from Logan Paul is like, whatever. Yeah, they even send gifts. Mauricio likes to wear them. Yeah, no, I mean, I was saying earlier, you guys saw my earlier video. Apartment right there only costs two grand a month, and this one, it's like more than double. And so that makes more sense. It's because everyone here in this apartment building is like so famous. Celebrities, celebrities and influencers and stuff like that, yeah. But you're paying for that right here. But if you literally go across the street, way less. To 2,000, maybe 2,500. At the most, I would pay three. Right. Yeah. It's crazy because there are some areas near me that cost three grand a month, and it's nothing like that. It's way less look looking cool than that. So I mean, I could literally move there right now. <laughs> Absolutely. So. And you're in Hollywood. Yeah. All right. This dude is so spontaneous. Today he woke up. He's like, Yeah, I just want to buy a bike. And I was like, a bicycle? He's like, no, man, a motorcycle. <laughs> I'm trying to go get a little motorcycle right now. <laughs> you said you rode one when, like, yeah. years ago, right? Yeah, I had, I had two bikes. I had a 1600 um, Ninja and a 750 Dixture, which, which is the one I'm trying to go buy today. Yeah. <laughs> I just found that funny. Like, when you're at that position in your life, you can just wake up and say, I want to buy a motorcycle. I want to yeah. buy a car. I want to get a new house. It's like... Uh, it, it's, it's good because, like... Like just randomly, like you crave, you know, a candy bar right now, like you crave a car, you crave more stuff, you crave like, you know, bigger toys. So right. it's, it's pretty cool. Right? And a year ago, Okay, just a heads up, this part gets pretty long because it's Mauricio explaining his life story and how he got to the point where he is right now in his life. So if you want to watch his entire life story, then uh, be prepared. It's about five or six minutes long. If you don't want to watch the entire thing, then I'm going to leave a timestamp up here on the screen right now that you can skip to where it doesn't show his entire life story. But I do recommend you listen to his entire life story. It's very interesting. What position were you on a year ago? Like Dude, <laughs> a year ago, I was literally, I was living in Fresno. Um, my rent was $450 a month. Like right here I paid $5,800 a month. 
it's like nothing compared to what I used to, to pay back then. Right. I was still working, I was working at a um, calorie collision, so it was like an auto shop and stuff like that. Okay. Like now I'm making multiple six figures, I'm living in like penthouse, Logan Paul's like place, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, driving out exotics and shit like that, which is pretty fun. Looking at someone, you never really know what they do unless you ask them. Yeah. If I were to see you walking down the street, I would never like assume in my head yeah. like he is where he is at right now. So it's crazy to see the level of humbleness that you have, yeah, I and that you know like you've obtained all this. It's yeah, crazy. no, that's that's one thing I go like a lot because like I know where I came from, so like I know how it feels to be like down there, and I know the struggle and everything. And I'm no, I'm nowhere better than anybody else. Like everybody has the same capacity to like be greater than the, the, their, you know, better version of themselves. It's never good to put people down and instead of that, like, take them up and like, hey bro, like, you can do better. Like, look, this was a position of me back then, like, you can do way better. Right. Um, you have better skills or you can do, like, certain certain things. Like, everybody has different skills in different aspects, so, yeah. I remember when you started first trading Forex, didn't you say, well, like, <laughs> explain that, like, you had to borrow money, like, oh, all this stuff, dude. like, it's a crazy Fuck. story when you're here, it's yeah. crazy. So, when, when I first, like, I was in a car crash two, no, three weeks before my course, and I was in debt. Sorry, months. when he says course, he's talking about an in-person course he flew out to in Seattle, same one I took. So yeah. that's what he's talking about when he says. The so course. I took an in-person course, but the thing is, like a lot of people don't value like how valuable it is to like go in person with somebody and and meet them and actually learn from them, you know, in person because it's a lot more valuable. And you know that 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 course cost me some money. Plus, I was already in debt because. A kid ran a red light, pulled my car, oh. and yeah, <laughs> told my car and I was eight thousand dollars in debt with just the car, plus what the course was, plus the flight and everything. You know, it was a total of like in debt sixteen thousand dollars, which a thousand dollars of that was like from my dad's because I took from his bank account without him knowing. To this day, he doesn't know. He might know once this thing is uploaded. <laughs> he might know. But the thing is, like his thousand dollars was a thousand dollars I put in my my, my forex account, right. and that forex account and that that mentorship, I made sixty eight hundred, sixty eight or sixty four hundred during that week. Wow, and then, um, while you're at the place. While well, I was at the place. Oh my and then I came back, I um, quit my job on October 23rd, 2017. And that day, like $1,000 account, I like withdrew, put my, my dad's money back, put my little brother's money back. He knew, so I had to pay him double. <laughs> he knew I took his money, so I had to pay him <laughs> double. And then from there, I grew that account from October all the way to December 31st. I withdrew on January $51,000 um, from that same account. And just, dude, just started going ham on trading. I just fucking, yeah. Here's one of my favorite parts about his job. <laughs> Tell him about what happened, about like you quit or they fired like Oh, okay. This is the part that really, if this doesn't inspire you to take action, I don't know what will. Yeah, future. so the thing is like when I, because I had just had a vacation before my car crash. I had gone to Mexico, that's where I'm from. I'm from Mexico and my whole family lives all there. So I was, you know, wanted to go visit them. And when I came back, the car crashed and then I knew about this mentor and I was like, shit, I gotta go. I asked my boss if I can have, you know, a week a week off, and he was like, uh, no, you can't have a week off because, you know, you just came back from vacation. What are you talking about? I'm like, well, it's like educational. I gotta do this. Like, it's very important, this and that. And he's like, no, well, if you go, don't expect the job back. And I was in that position where like the fire was against my back. And sometimes people need that motivation. Like, they need that fire against their back so they can actually like, you know, do something better. Just like get that urgency to like be better than themselves and or get a better version of themselves. So that happened. I ended up just, I was like, you know, you know shit, I'm gonna go. I ended up flying over there, came back. And in that course, I told my mentor, I told him, I'm gonna quit my job when I come back. And he said, oh, everybody says that, like everybody's gonna quit their job. This. I'm like, no, I'm serious. Like literally like record it and post it on your IG and, and you'll see I'm gonna quit my job. He recorded it, he posted it on IG. He was like, oh, Marisa said he's gonna quit his job when he comes back. So I flew back, uh, October 2017 and on, 2000, on October 2017, October 23rd was when I quit my job. So I went to job, I went inside of my office to grab my stuff. I was like, already grab my stuff. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna quit my job, this and this. And my father's like, Mauricio. I'm like, yeah, can you come to my office, please? I'm like, ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I go to the office um, and you know, he was like, oh, um, what do you think? You, you expect a job back after like being gone for a whole week without asking permission? I'm like, no, I asked for permission, but like, I'm not here to like, you know, work. I'm actually grabbing my stuff, I quit. And he's like, uh, what do you mean I quit? I'm like, yeah, I quit. He's like, no, you don't quit, you're fired. So he, he literally just had, went ahead like the end of war, like telling me I was fired, but I had already quit. So you gotta be in a position where like, you have the fire against the back so you can actually like do greater things. And you know, back then I was making, what was it? 
probably like 28 or 32 thousand dollars a year and this year i already had my 40k day which is really i yeah. I, I got really emotional i almost, I almost cried yeah i went on ig live and everything that i told her like hey like 40 000 it was 41 000 something some change but dude it's incredible like when you take this and do different things you'll get different results yeah yeah so i just want to share that with you guys so if that doesn't inspire you then i don't know what will but yeah. you just gotta take action on you got you gotta do something different if you want to have different results now there's one thing i always go by is that the biggest risk in life is the risk you don't take because that risk you don't take can lead you to an opportunity that can lead you to you know full-time success on to the gym now uh Man, I'm telling you, this dude's inspired me to work out now. <laughs> Trader's life, bro. I know, right? You trade, you work out, eat good, travel good, dude. Like it's Health is wealth or wealth is health. <laughs> you know? I'm going to start hitting the gym now. And I know I say that all the time, but after this trip, He's mean, he I, I, I got to change some things in my routine, you know? <laughs> this is a good inspiration. Okay, show me what you're showing. So it's it's like They're like the lifestyle I got, like, you know, like the airplanes. You know, the food, fancy places, the hills, parties, you know, throwing, <laughs> throwing literally like hundred dollars $100 steaks across the, the table. Oh my God. We got like girls and all that. Then we go to profits, you know, small withdrawals, nothing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and we got like, you know, sniper entries, you know, another charge, like other withdrawals, like 11,000 withdrawals and, you know, no, nothing too crazy, something, something kind of, hey. eh. <laughs> I haven't been to the gym in like five years, but I do a lot of home workouts. Dude, I'm feeling it. Like my arm is big, my chest is big. I miss the feeling of actually working out. So I'm gonna get back into it. My YouTube subscriber out there, Brian the Lion. I'm gonna tag him right here. He also motivated me to get back Ooh. into the gym. Man, he's like this big rip dude. Yeah. You guys should go check him out on Instagram. He's a true beast at working out too, so. Okay, listen, I know I haven't been to the gym in like five or six years. This is the first time I've actually lifted a weight in a long time. So give me some slack. My The purpose of this was just to get used to the weight. So there wasn't a lot of weight on it. And yeah, I don't, I'm not trying to whatever. Just you get you get what I'm saying. Yo, that was like a workout. Like my shoulders, yeah, chest, yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, click on that C4X. Yeah, yeah, click on that C4X thing. We were just like taking a bunch of photos upstairs for Instagram. Yeah. So if you're big on photos and Instagram, like you'd be all over this place. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. And especially like when I wake up, since it's like my work area, like it's in, I have like in my in my room and everything. Like when I see views like this, you know, motivates you to do more. It makes you to work harder. Yeah. Like, damn. Like, dude, are you back? I didn't have none of this. <laughs> none of this. Dude, I was in the, it was a, Crappy hotel, no, not hotel, crappy apartment, bro. Four fifty a month, and literally my mattress was like I only had a mattress. Like I didn't even have no. I didn't, was a mattress. Yeah, I had a mattress, but I didn't have a frame. Like right. it was on the floor. It was just you're just sleeping on a mattress on the floor. Yeah, and then a year later, got a beautiful mattress. Show, 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 <laughs> show, I even have I even have a bed in, in my in my closet, bro. Yeah, like. So like this my, is why I'm sleeping for now. Like, guys, look, at this is crazy. His bed, <laughs> his guest bed is twice as big as my bed and it fits in his closet. Yeah, this is my little closet. <laughs> <laughs> then I got like the little bathroom. Dude, my bathroom probably the biggest what my room looks for. So, you know, Dude, really like I love his sink. I love his bathroom. Yeah. Look at this. It's it's yeah. so simple. It's so simple and modern. I like it, bro. Dude, all those bath bombs. <laughs> oh yeah, those are, those are my girlfriend's. Um, yeah, yeah. She makes me buy some stuff. That's no, good. <laughs> you can see like your forex charts up here oh, if you yeah. want. You can connect to it and I connect right there. Uh, when I'm on the bed, I just connect and just view right there. Or when I just feel like kind of want to work in the office, I can like come over here. Yeah. And at night, I just. You know, it's just look at the view. You can see like some crazy people downstairs sometimes. So it's, it's you know, you got a little bit of everything. No, I bet you see a bunch of random stuff down here at the oh, streets. Yeah. So I'll probably get my star next year, bro. <laughs> yeah. Get my star next year. You'll see me down there. And how much effort they put in exactly, you know, what they have long term. It's, it's, it'll be good. But um, NFP might be the start of that trade. All right, guys. I want to show you my receipt from Catch LA last night. Um, yeah. If I spent that in one meal, I can't imagine this dude <laughs> going out all the time. But hey, that was worth it. I got a New York strip and lobster mashed potatoes. So yeah, I got really full, but it was so worth it. It was a great experience. So if you're ever in LA, 
go there, you might see someone famous. You probably will. I mean, if you, if you just walk outside, you're going to see somebody you know from online. It's crazy. Um, we were working out at the gym, and who did we see? What was his name? Who did we see at the gym? Uh, Ray Diaz. Ray Diaz. This guy with like three point something million followers, and he's like popular on social media. It's just crazy. We just walk in and we see like these famous people. So it's pretty interesting to see. You know, once you're in a location like this, like he said before, like you just grow your network and it's like the perfect area. A little something, something light, a little. You got just snow there. A little Andre Trader, the coach Andre, but yeah. All right, guys, it's 5:20 in the morning. Here with. Mauricio, Mr. NFP. We're dead tired, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. We're about to watch a live trade happen. So in about five minutes or so, the market's gonna move uh, crazy, and we're gonna see uh, see what happens. So see you then. Pick it. Here we go. Oh, and so people are not. It's a lower count. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. It's a slow day. I was actually expecting like six hundred, like two thousand dollars at least. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, um, sometimes they're better or worse than others. It's, you know? They came out good. Like you know, the trades in. I let it run throughout the rest of the day, and before market closes, I'll close out my trades. All right. Has it even been five minutes? Or it has been five minutes, but how much are we up now? Six hundred. Six hundred. So we were from two hundred to six hundred. Loading a bit. Like five minutes. Yeah. So we'll probably keep it to like go all the way up to like 1,500. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's the morning. We're here at Body Energy Club. We're getting some breakfast. We're getting like an octai bowl. I forgot how to pronounce it. He's gonna head out to the gym. I'm gonna work on some stuff while he's at the gym. Later on, we're gonna go eat again. And basically, every day is like a repeat of each day. We wake up, we eat, we work, we work out, then we have fun. So, yeah. This dude loves to cook. Man, every day, little, little kitchen action. <laughs> these are really good. When you do your in-person courses with people, you should make these for them oh, yeah. as a little gift. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're really good. They'll, they'll love my <laughs> Yeah, really good quesadillas. Well, it's the next day. Let me tell you my favorite part about being up here is this desk. Cause I can just sit here on this desk, work, look outside the window, you can feel the nice, warm sun right here on your hands. Just work on my computer. This is like the ultimate desk area, beautiful view. But if you don't like noise, then you're not gonna like it uh, because there's noise all the time. But it's that cool city noise. So if you're used to it, then yeah. Well, apparently something happened because there's a helicopter up there and they closed down the entire street over there. I am so afraid I'm gonna drop my phone. My entire life is on here, so no way. <laughs> I'm just hoping that it's not like an active shooter or something like that, or some guy that's crazy. Uh, that's usually the case, but hopefully it's not. Okay, so we just finished our workout and we're gonna go in the hot tub now. He's gonna go in the pool, but he's saying it's too cold. Um, I don't blame him, just the tile itself is freezing cold but i'm gonna go in the hot tub and yeah i haven't been in a hot tub in years so i'm gonna enjoy that <laughs> got the r8s you got the mustangs mercedes they're just everywhere or <laughs> sticky notes hey we're out for a walk just met this dude brian look, wait, look at him this, this dude's like Superman in real life. Dude, like he's tall. I tell him he's like a bouncer, you know? But yeah, what do you do? So I'm actually a videographer in LA. Um, I work with Mauricio. If you didn't meet you know, Marty, he's one of my good friends. And soon we'll be creating content for anyone who wants to check it out. But for now, I'm just creating content for people who want to collaborate with me. I'm gonna play a video right now showing you the exact, <laughs> one of the videos he made for Mauricio. This is the kind of quality production he makes. Trust me, you wanna check this out. I'm gonna leave it also, you have Instagram, right? Yes. If you wanna book him, if you're in LA or in California, definitely book him. I'm gonna leave his social media down below. Check it out, watch this video.
Kitchen 24. You gotta get something to eat, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm getting the wakey wakey eggs and bakey. And possibly also a breakfast smoothie. <laughs> you guys know me, I gotta get my smoothie. We just walked here in the pouring rain. My clothes are all wet, my jacket's all wet. So yeah, breakfast time. Yo, how's it going? <laughs> so this is Mauricio's brother. <laughs> this dude's crazy at trading cryptos. Crazy, like you would never expect it if you're walking down the street and you see him. I'm oh, the crypto master. Dude, I saw his just... trades and I'm just Ooh. like, dude, where have you been? Like... <laughs> so uh, how long have you been trading cryptos now? Uh, I'll say three months now. Three months? Yeah, Damn. three months. Yeah, I just started self learn. Well, I didn't, no, nobody's having how to trade cryptos, just like going on articles. Um, YouTube and all that, you know, right. it's pretty simple. I don't know what it is about the Sabajos family, <laughs> but you guys learn so fast. Like Mauricio went from like regular guy to where he is now in a year, you know, like three months. Three months? Yeah, yeah. Where, where you come from? It's the blood, it's yeah. the blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Do you, do you have an Instagram? Uh, yeah, it's Andre FX Official. All right, so I'm gonna have a lot of people's Instagrams below this video, but yeah, check them out too. If you wanna learn about crypto, this is your guy. This right? guy. Trust me, <laughs> trust me. Yeah, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's now and to this other place to get some food. And yeah, I'll see you when we get back. I'm about to show you guys how awesome this is. Watch this. Hi, right, Andres. What's up, man? Okay, so we just sat down. The market is barely moving, barely moving. And this is uh, how much you already have. Three, two, well, 267. You're already up $267, and it barely started moving. Yeah, and I got in a buy like around here with some drawdown. But what's the simple strategy? You can know a lot from it. It's super simple anyway if you're learning from just one video. It's a lot of knowledge. So your strategy is so <laughs> simple, you can learn it in like a 30 minute video or less. Yes, Damn. That, that simple. <laughs> that simple. And you basically do this full time. Yeah, and Krebs is 24-7, so exactly. the market never closes for me. So <laughs> when, that when that hits your take profit, how much would you expect to make off those two trades in total? Uh, well, I'm going for 230 pips, so in total I have like three lots, I believe. So it's around four, four to $5,000. And, and how old are you? Uh, I'm just 19. 19? <laughs> I'm just 19. <laughs> I'm just 19. I say this all the time. If I knew what this kid knew, but like five years ago, dude, I'd be retired. I'd okay. be retired. Like this kid is going so far in just, and you said been training crypto how long? Like three, three, four months. Three to four months. And he's really where he is at right now. I don't know what it is about the Sabajos family, but they, <laughs> they learn so fast and they're so successful when they implement this stuff. And the day that nobody taught me how to trade crypto, I just had to go in the web and do some research and read couple books from the internet and so on, watch YouTube videos. Right. So pretty much self-taught. 100% self-taught. From cryptos, yes. From Forex, I had mentors, but not from cryptos. Right. <laughs> My man. Let's go. <laughs> Again, his Instagram is down below. If you want to reach out to him, check it out. For the ladies. <laughs> Hit him up. Are you single? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Welcome to LA. I wake up every day here and I see this. Guy's doing like kung fu. I saw like a crack addict right over there, like punching mid air. Yeah, so pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's not Octavio. <laughs> yeah, Octavio just hopped in. <laughs> Damn, look, in a Mustang, man. <laughs> I'm not used to it being this low. You wanna rev the engine? Yo, what's up? So we just went to In N Out. I'm about to take off my flight back to Miami. Miami, let's Man, get it. This has been a fun week. <laughs> it's probably my favorite, not vacation, it was like a business vacation. It, yeah. was, it was like my favorite business vacation I've ever done in my entire life because Absolutely. I have people my age that I'm hanging around with, successful people my <laughs> age, being able to network with other people. Yeah, so it was crazy. So for, for those of you guys that follow me, follow me on Instagram, you saw that whole journey. Um, I want to leave them off. I want to leave you guys off with one piece of advice. If you could give one piece of advice to beginner traders mm -hmm. in the Forex market, stock market, whatever it may be, what would it be? Definitely risk management, but also be patient 
with the process. Trust the process, be patient. Success is gonna come. Just be very, very persistent on your trades. Every time you do a tra trade and you lose, track it, see what you did wrong, analyze it, and then you know improve the next trade, improve the next trade. And if you have proper risk management, you can lose six trades and win four and you're still profitable. So risk management is key. That's true because I remember he told me like there are times where he's in a trade for like days or something. Oh, and yeah. I think like the longest, what was the longest time you've been in one trade? Oh, probably like, probably like a week and a half. And yeah. It was just <laughs> up, down, up, down, up, down. But when you trust the process and you actually wait for it, you know, it'll hit your, your, your TP. And you know, it that one trade can literally pay you out a week and a half or two right. weeks. And you told me that yeah. story, yeah. Or like, or he had a loss, but then the trade made up the loss and then oh, yeah. got like an insane more. profit after yeah. that. So it was really good. You're also going to learn mainly through trial and error. Oh, yeah, definitely. because you you can learn a lot from courses and you will learn a lot from courses especially from successful individuals like Mauricio you got to put in the time yeah it's just like it's like watching videos on YouTube about how to work out and you're not gonna get buffed by watching the video you have to put in the work so, you, you also yeah. got to be passionate about it like it's not something that you're gonna be like oh I'm gonna go get rich and I'm gonna do it because everybody's making money at first yes a lot of people want to do that but then you actually you like it, you enjoy it, you, you enjoy the process and you get passionate about it. Like I'm very passionate about my, my trading. Like when I'm on charge, I'm literally like just on the charge. I don't have nobody around. I'm just like, you know, on my own zone because I'm passionate about every single detail. Like take your time. Um, a lot of people might just put lines in this and that. No, actually take your time, analyze why you're doing certain things and so on. So definitely be passionate about what you do. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for everything. All right. We'll see you at the airport when uh, he drops me off, and then yeah, I'm off back to Miami. So let's get it. <laughs> it's, just, it's like a slip. California, you know, San Diego. So if you want me to go to New York, let me know in the comment section and I'll fly to New York. That's it guys, take care and see you in the next video. Yeah.